It is very, very, very hot. Overseas, couple G's and expenses. Gotta get it, I've been different since the entrance. So right now, I am on the train to Mombasa. Now, I must say, they told me I couldn't record when I first came in. Man. The check-in process was a little bit annoying. I'm not even gonna lie, like, worse than the airport. Like, had the dogs, had like five different scanners, all types of stuff. So just know if you're planning on taking the train that it's a lot of hassle. You should get here like an hour early. The train leaves at about 8 a.m. Then they have one at 3, then they have one at 10. It's about a six hour train ride. And now we are about to visit Kenya's most sought after tourist destination. So let's go. After a six hour train ride, we are now in Kenya's most popular tourist destination of Mombasa. Now, the train ride was about 1,500 shillings if you want the regular ticket, or 4,500, which is about $30 for the first class ticket, and that's the one I got. But let me show y'all some of Mombasa. I was chilling with the bros who was up for a night out. Yeah. Saw you in the cut with that wifey demeanor. Hey. Alright y'all, we we in the Airbnb. I'ma show y'all the Airbnb. We got Lucky right here. Say hey. Hi. <laughs> so got the living room inside here. Smart TV. Pretty nice living room, nice space, nice space. Bathroom. I'm giving Lucky the tour at the same time I'm giving y'all the tour, so. Got the bedroom in here. Closet. So they said they doing a lot of Airbnbs and stuff right now. Like all these are gonna be Airbnbs that they building right here. So they got a lot of construction going on. Hopefully it don't keep me up too late or too early in the morning. I'm only here for a few days, so it ain't that big of a deal. Then, inside here, got the kitchen. The kitchen area, whatever. It's cool, cool. And come out here. Shoot. Oh. Balcony right there. They make them too much. Huh? What they make down there? They making more condo. Oh. But yeah, man, y'all see, man, nice, beautiful views. Now, this is the one thing I say I'm probably not feeling about this spot is like, look at how the door is. Like, like it took me forever to like try to reach under here and unlock this. Like, that's not really the best door situation right there. All right, so my ride here. So they got like these dope like tuk-tuk things right here, kind of like in Thailand, in Bangkok. Hello, hello. I think this is dope right here. I see this. This is dope right here, man. Hello. If 
you didn't know, Kenya is known for its wildlife and they have all types of wildlife parks and national parks and that's what I'm doing right now. Right now I am at the Hauler National Park. Now this was a wasteland like quarry, rock quarry area that they turned into an ecosystem with all types of animals and I love nature and I love animals and this is one of the things that Kenya is known for. So we're about to go in here and check it out. This isn't the area just yet, but I just want to show y'all like this is a little entrance area right here. Man, I like being outside, man. I love being in the nature, seeing all types of stuff. I don't know if I'm going to do a real safari while I'm here. Like last time I went to the national park, if you watch like my old videos, I went to like the national park. I don't know if I'm going to do that on this trip, but... This is definitely one of the things you want to do if you come in a camp. You definitely have to check out the wildlife because it's like the most famous for that. Phew, you gotta like walk just to get to reception. It's like a, this thing says, please do not sit on the tortoises. Like, why would you sit on a turtle? I don't understand. All right, keeping it moving. Going to reception. Reception pretty deep up in here, huh? Got a little bridge right here. Alright, it's very quiet out here too. Like I feel like I'm probably like one of the only few people here. But very quiet, very, very quiet. Do not feed the monkeys while in the park. Yeah, you don't want to feed the monkeys anywhere you go. That's kind of been the general consensus of uh, everywhere I've been. All right, we made it to reception. It's a good little walk to get here. Oh, y'all see this? The monkey just ran across. All right, we at the reception right now. Monkeys on deck, monkeys on deck. Oh, y'all see my mans right here now? Y'all see my mans? The giraffe, the monkeys over here. It's dope. The giraffes got the monkeys. Whew. Dope, 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 dope. Crocodile Sanctuary. That was dope. Let's check it out. See if we see anything. Let's see if we see anything. I don't see any crocodiles just yet. Is that one over there? Oh yeah, I think I see one right there. I don't know if y'all can see on the camera, but I definitely see him over there. He posted up. There go one right here too. One right there. Fish okay, okay. Well, they ain't really coming out too much, but I seen a couple down there. Man, I am so hungry, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, the food that I had on the train the other day was not that good. And then I ate some food 
um, last night, like some pizza, trash. So I'm hungry. I feel like I'm about to pass out, but I'll eat after this. Fish pond. Hey, I see the fishes over there. See any down here? Okay, I see the fishes, I see the fishes. Okay, this fish pond over here. Fish in here. <sighs> all right, all right. Yeah, we're gonna keep it moving. They got all these fish ponds back here. Can definitely get closer over here. Look at this right here. Oh yeah. You can see him from here for sure. Look at him. Oh, he done went under. Oh, he ain't even rocking with your boy. He done went under on your boy. Oh, there you go. So this park was about 1,800 shillings, which is like almost twelve dollars about something like that so yeah haven't seen too much animals but we're gonna keep looking here we go got some yellow crocodiles over here got the yellow crocodiles got the yellow crocodiles okay okay there chilling just chilling look at that right there the yellow crocodiles Not as many animals as I was hoping to see here, but it's all good for $12. It is what it is. It's got some nice little views, some crocodiles and some giraffes and saw the hippo a little bit. Saw some monkeys. So. We about to head out, go to the next destination. As you can probably tell from my face, it is very, very, very hot in Mombasa. Like, hot blazing it's giving me jamaica vibes nairobi has a very more cool temperature here is very hot so just be prepared for very hot steamy tropical weather when you come to mombasa is known for having some of the most pristine and beautiful beaches in the entire world and right now I am at Pirates Beach which is one of the most famous beaches in Mombasa and I am here at the new Big Tree House which is like a restaurant bar lounge so I'm gonna show y'all the inside here and I'm gonna show y'all some of this beautiful beach let's go <music> I think this is dope right here. Like every night they got something going on. Monday, movie night, Tuesday, tiki bar, pizza beach lounge, ladies night, phone party, beach party. Oh, this is lit right here. So I wanted to tell you guys about the currency, but I realized I don't have no cash. And that leads me to a big part of Kenya. So they have this thing called M-Pesa in Kenya, which is basically mobile banking. You know, kind of like we have 
Cash App and things of the such like that. It's kind of like that. That's basically the banking network. You can send money through your phone. You can pay for anything with money that you add to your phone. So you can take cash out and give it to the person at the phone store basically like when you set up your sim card and all that you can give them cash in so many locations they'll add it to your phone so you don't have to walk around with big amounts of cash and big amounts of currency on you I like it man you just paying from your phone that's cool so if you are coming to kenya definitely get you in pesa it will be very convenient because a lot of people do not have change here so if you're using cash and people don't have change for some big bills and all that type of stuff so get in pesa when you come to kenya and it will save you a lot of time a lot of energy and a lot of frustration got the red snapper right here i wasn't expecting it to be that small i thought it was going to be the whole thing but it's all good got the rice some sauce right here i'm gonna taste that passion fruit juice some fanta orange a little beach area out here We had the beach with it. The little boat rides out there. Got the little boat ride out here. Yeah, man, it's really cool here. You got people swimming. People walking all on the beach. Yeah, man, y'all see later. Like, got some houses over there. Nice little houses back there. Okay. Okay. With everything I gave up for you, did it for love. No escaping, heart is taken. I've been waiting, I've been patient. Thought you been down, heard you skip down and can't be found. Where are you now, baby? Deep down, I know you've been missing me, but you keep being a mystery. Dang, don't know if you recall it, but last time I said the sun won't shine till we meet again. Mombasa. I wish I could have stayed there a little bit longer. I didn't have that much time. Only spent like a day and a half there, but I loved it. And I think it's a little bit more of my vibe than even Nairobi is. So next time I come to Kenya, I plan on spending a lot more time in Mombasa, man. I love the beach vibes and beach cities are just more of my thing. If you are coming to Kenya, you should definitely add Mombasa to the list as well, man. I got some exclusive content on Patreon, man. So if you want to see the exclusive content that I've been doing since I've been in Nairobi, definitely go check out the Patreon because it's going up over there, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe as always, man. Love y'all. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Overseas, couple G's and expenses. Gotta get it. I've been different since the entrance.